Welcome to another lovely sunny hot day here in Japan. I'm Bilton, Chris Bilton, uh, an English jeweler who quit my job over there last year and uh, now I'm here with my family. I've got my own little setup at home and I'm doing instructional videos on YouTube. Uh, if you're new to me, thanks very much for watching. I hope you find some information useful and uh, if it is and you like what you see, why not consider subscribing? Today is an extra special day because I'm going for my very first setting lesson and I can do a little bit of setting, just what I've taught myself doing rub over settings and basic stuff with little tools that I don't even know if I are correct. Uh, so I'm interested today to learn what a setter, a professional setter can do, like all the equipment they're using, the tools, like being very specific and uh, really improve what I know and what I can do. And I'm looking forward to learning specifically cut down style settings because I, I I mean, I've done a full instructional video on my channel previously, you can check that out. Um, the cut-down style full eternities, I really want to be able to make those from start to finish myself. That would be really empowering to me as a jeweller. So I'm looking forward to learn that today. Um, so we'll speak to uh, my friend Naoko-san. Uh, she's going to show us like what she does and then I'm going to have a go. So yeah, literally come join me for my first lesson doing setting. So I've just arrived here at Kamashima Station. Um, having a little snack before I go to the jewelers. Um, it's very quiet, there's not a lot going on in Kamashima. And there's a cool little antique shop just around the corner. Kind of tempted to ask if I can film stuff going around there, but um, I'm a bit shy, <laughs> so I might not do it. But it's cool in there, it's full of samurai swords and like old like Japanese samurai armor and stuff like that. So uh, I always have a look around there when I come to visit Kamashima. Swords, you understand? Swords are totemo furui, like real. Yeah, hold on, what is sword? Like furui, furui, that's called. Sword. Sword. Sword, hi. Right. Ah, uh, 80 years ago, how long? 80, 80 years. Hmm. Wait, isn't that? Hmm. 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 Not sharp. Surudoi, surudoi no. Hanai. Mozoto. Okay, so we're here in Frost Ferry Jewelers. This is Naoko San, otherwise known as Nao San to her friends. Uh, yeah, she's going to be teaching me setting, and what I know about setting at the moment is very little. I'll show you my tools I use. I've got three tools basically for my setting: a ring clamp and two homemade little gravers, which is uh, not going to get me very far doing advanced stuff. So, with Nao San's help today, she's going to show me what to do to improve my skill. Okay, so just I think it'll be interesting uh, to see a Japanese workshop for people from other countries. So this is a small little workshop, but it's got everything everything she needs to to. To get to get by in the trade, so um, let's have a quick look. Right, now San, Nandaska, what's that? Kokuinki uh, desu. <laughs> Otherwise known as a lathe. Yeah, this is cool. I would love my own lathe. I think it's gonna be so useful. I've got a lot of ideas that I can, I can, I can make things with, but I need a lathe to do them. So this is something I may get in the future. I've got space for one at home, but I just obviously need to cough up and pay for one. Okay. Very tidy, very organised. I like your style here. Now you do, uh, you've got the polishing motor here, but you said you do most of your polishing uh, with your small, small uh, mops. Yeah. <laughs> okay, quick break there to uh, translate. Yeah, most polishing done with these, which I don't like. I think you can get a better job on this one. Motoi for me, especially platinum. Yeah, you need this. Kirimasu. I think, yeah, platinum, no, platinum. yeah, because you need that power and, and just that being a big, big disc as well is beneficial for, and then this, this is what I'm interested, I can learn about this today, yeah, these are uh, setting yes. att attachments, mm, okay, I'll show you what I have, my, mine is very silly, homemade one, Right. 
and then and this is also very different to what people have in the UK. What can you tell me about this? Nandaska, ani, ani suru. Duta, du, duta. Duta. Ruta. Polishing. Polishing. Oh, polishing. Oh, okay, so it's basically just like a <coughs> motor. It looks nice quality. Um. Yeah, and then can I adjust the speed with that one? Yes. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, like micro motor. These are really good. I prefer these to. In England, people normally have very old fashioned kind of shaft shaft drive, like motor here oh. hanging up, and then the whole the whole cable spinning inside. So a lot of vibration, a lot of noise, and then I think these are very very neat and very quiet. So I can do better, better job with this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll show you my tools. Uh, this is basically the entirety of my setting tools. I've got my ring clamp, old school one, screw down. And then these are my homemade kind of graver pusher things. This is literally a nail, just a very cheap nail that you bang into a bit of wood. And this was an Allen key, which I just sharpen up. And it was quite long when I started it, but over the years it got shorter where I keep sharpening it. And any setting I've done that you see me do is literally done with these. That's it. I just push, rub over settings with that and then cut them back with that one. That's kind of all I can do at the moment. So I'm looking forward to learn how it should be done today. Okay, so we're putting this stuff in, which I don't have, and I see everybody using it and I really want it. What's it called again? What form? What? Heat form. Heat form, that's it. I'm gonna set, go hard. Uh, yes, yes, hard. Okay, so what are we doing? the center wide enough so I'm gonna widen that a little bit now okay, right made some adjustments now we're getting the tools out which is where I'm gonna start learning a lot because before all I had was this and um, I kind of understand how they're set but uh, this is not really adequate for splitting claws and doing it accurately. So, with these little things, I'm going to learn how to do it properly. What is this? Nanda Scar, Nani. Gomu. Gomu. Just like blue tack. Not like this, something else. Gomu. Just like. Keshi Gomu. Neri Gomu. Neri Gomu. It's a plasticky rubber. 
don't know what it is. Girl, I need blue tack all the time, and I can't buy it in Japan. Blue tack. Blue tack wakata. Yeah. Japan doesn't know about blue tack. Okay, lesson one. Just learnt. Uh, this is the very soft type of rubber, like uh, needing a razor. That's not. And um, yeah, use it using it to pick up stones. Okay, so I've got that. Pick up a stone with that, and then which which one do you start? You start hajimuru wa toko desu ka? Like at the end um, or middle? Doesn't matter. Kini shinai de. It's a bit tight. Is that meant to drop down in there? Is it meant to go? Shita. Shita. Mm, okay, so maybe need to open up a little bit. Okay, so basically I put my stone on, but my stone looked like I made it on purpose. I made it with metal needed to be cut away. Um, my stone is standing on top of it, so I need to cut it. So uh, open up the holes where the stone sits, so the stone drops right down. And check this out, how Japanese is this? That was, there's me trying individual ones, trying to find a two mil one, and I realize they're all organized with the, the measurements written on there. So two mil, there you go, easy. Okay, so I drilled these all out now. So, now san your style, how, how do you do it? Do you put all in? Zenbu wa naka arimasu ka? Like, all? Ichi ni san yon, all. Or dake one. Like, put, put one, one, ichi no dashimas. Ato de. Setting. And then, sorry kara, sugi no diamond. Oh. And then, Setting, setting, yes. or, or just all, du, 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 du. and then setting, setting, zenbu, zenbu no setting. Okay. So yeah, I've drilled that out now, so I think they can drop in. Okay, I'm laying all the stones in. Assuming we just move along, setting them. Just making sure they sit right down, nice and straight. Mm, so we're splitting down the centre mm. of each one with this. Okay, so these are what I will be using to split the claws and get the metal over the stone. And clear difference is they're way more narrow and smaller than what I'm used to. I've been doing my setting with this ground down alum key and uh, quite quite beast really compared to those. So yeah, clearly, obviously, immediately that's going to be um, much more accurate than what I've done in the past. It's been handed a tiny little hammer, <laughs> which uh, I was surprised. I thought a handle was going to go on that. I thought a handle, like, like this. I thought I like, tap and on, oh. yeah, and then just push. Push. Hmm. That's what I thought. But tappy tappy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tappy tappy time. With this one, how do you choose which one? Which one is best? Uh, Tochiro no tasuka. How do you know? Masugu no shita desu ka? Yeah. 
How do you know when to stop? I need a loop or something. That's quite satisfying the way it spreads the metal. Can you <laughs> can you look and check what I've done? Motor starter has gone. Yeah, it's pretty wide. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, hey. Let's see if I can get one stone set. Okay, I think that's set. I think I set one. Can you look? Good side. Okay. Okay. Hey, <laughs> my first stone. <laughs> Completed. I just went across the whole ring and I didn't wasn't that careful to be honest. Wanted to what an experience of actually tapping the claws over and a little bit messy, but I have set the stones and that's quite satisfying. Here you go, my first half eternity ring. Um, yeah, doing this, I'm capable of doing as much neater, but like I said, I just wanted the experience, experience to actually get them in there. A couple of them are good. Generally, overall, it's a bit messy, but I have rushed through it. Oh, so I'm checking over my ring. Stones are wonky, one sticking out. Didn't split the claws down the middle. Hammered it too much one side. They'll all come out if I put it in the ultrasonic. <laughs> <laughs> today like you could read books all day on setting jewelry but unless you actually sit down and try it you're not going to get very far with your knowledge on how it's actually done so I did a bad job I rushed through it and I just wanted to experience the techniques more than anything else today so I did that and I know I definitely do a better job next time um, that ball of ice uh, I don't have that but I can have the graving tools I need to to get to get setting so I will figure out a way to do it and I'll figure out a way to do it neater and better. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't rush through it, I'll just get things done slowly, but working accurately and neatly is my main priority now. But today was a good day, I learned so much and uh, I will keep my ring. I may even try and clean it up and fake it up to make it look good, but it's probably more beneficial just to keep it as it is and then I can see what happened and then figure out why I did the way I did. Um, yeah, so I can use, use it as a guide to progress. All right, good day today. Back in my workshop now. Let's have a closer look at this ring. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> All right, so splitting the claws down the center. Some uh, looking from the side, I didn't split them down the center evenly, a little bit left or right. So that's made the claws wonky and horrible. Uh, didn't split them down the same level. So that makes them look uneven. Yeah, they're just all looking a bit chewed up and horrible, like I really was a bit overly rough with it and worked too fast. Uh, yeah, the stones are all wonky. It's not, <laughs> it's not good at all. The fact that this is not neat isn't an issue. The fact is that I learned a lot and know what to do next time. So progressing every time I have a go and just a, a human thing we all learn through repetition so it's important just to keep keep trying things when you're learning something and you can start at any level you can start at the worst level possible but if you keep repeating repeating no reason why you can't end up being with the best people 
yeah, I'm quite excited to, to try this again. So, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, my first setting lesson. It's quite, quite fun for me. I hope you enjoyed watching it. A uh, bit of bonus feature, showed you that antique shop and a little bit of Japan. Uh, yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and all that. And see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Quite possibly the greatest no-smoking poster ever created.